we are unsympathetic. If we're sitting next to somebody on a plane and they're like, I'm a very nervous flyer, we go, well, don't worry, we fly all the time. And then as soon as we're going to take off, I'll turn to Jeff and I'll say casually, yeah, we're not going fast enough to take off. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, if there's a noise on the plane, they go, whoa. <laughs> that's, that's not right. What was that? And we were talking and we asked what the average British person's view of Americans is. You said fat, loud, and obnoxious. And Griffin and I were like, well, obviously you can see that that's not the case. And on cue, a speedboat pulled up with three drunk, fat dudes with no shirts on, and some crazy redneck lady comes running up behind us with a case of beer in her hands and goes, I got the beer! <laughs> Fuck! And that's awesome. Yeah, if cool. you like to do this. Thing. What? Please. It's with the fucking phone! Throw it out of the goddamn office! Here, I'll take the battery out of it. Don't take the battery! Just get rid of it! Turn off the fucking ringer! You don't have to invent a time machine go. and go back and kill Alexander <laughs> Graham Bell! Just fucking turn off the goddamn phone! Look at these hands. These hands are fucking smooth as balls, alright? <laughs> we go down there. The car's been egged. <laughs> it had an omelet on it. <laughs> so bad. It's like my car was sunny side up. <laughs> but was it just your car? Like yeah, yeah, just my car. someone had gone and bought eggs to put on your car. Yeah. Now why do you think they egged your car? Prolix has been sitting there for three weeks. <laughs> I, I moved it from one side of the street to the other one. But, okay, uh, apparently that wasn't uh, enough to so, stave off an egging.